The Bostonian versus the book. That was Aaron Rodgers' thing. Your quarterback in the first round. Yeah. It's a luxury pick. We don't have the luxury. We're trying to win right now. I, 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 I'm in a window right now, and you're going to say, no, we're going to plan this for the future. With a guy who had four years, four seasons ended by injury. Four. <laughs> like, Michael Penix is a walking injury. Like, what are you doing taking him in the top ten? The Bostonian versus the book. And now you have to qualify in these majors. You, you just you got to go do it, man. Like, and it just comes off really petty to sit up there and be like, I'm not. You know what you signed up for. So I, I don't like the pettiness. And um, I, I, I 100% think Taylor Gooch should be in the major championships. Mm -hmm. So in the same note, I'm saying this, but also it's like, hey, this is the world in which we live in right now. And, and, you, and you don't deserve anything. Only on Sports Grid. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. The early the line. Magical and historic season in Lincoln, Nebraska continues. He is the best player in the NBA, but also in the biggest moments where the national media is watching. Newswire. Something that we have never seen happen before with one of the iconic coaches in the game. Pharrell coast to coast. The team covers. It's automatic. It's every time. Not, not sometimes. It's every time. Game time decisions. Luka is actually far more dangerous from three on the road this year than at home. This game here tonight, you may want to consider taking as many points as humanly possible. In Game Live, prime time. We got not one, but two coaches fired systems in place. Sports Rage this Late Night. This sort of written all over it. It's going to be hard to match the emotion that they played with the other night. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Pharrell has taken over. Let's go. It's Pharrell. Coast to coast. Steaks, chicks, stacks. You and I are going to make a lot of money. It's Pharrell. Coast to coast. And we are back for El Coast to Coast, hour number three here on Sports Grid and Sports Grid Radio. Great to have everybody with us here today. Carver High and Joe Lisi in for Scotty. Big final hour. Oh, we got a lot to do. Tons of baseball to get to. I've got football stuff for Joe. Bunch of coaches, OTAs this week. Everybody's in action. Uh, we might even get to the golf, too, uh, at some point. Uh, and we're going to finish up the hockey here to start. Before we do, Joe, I, of course, always want to let everybody know uh, that they, uh, if they don't have the new Sports Grid app by now, you have no idea what you're waiting for. Like, please, honestly. It's available both at the iOS and the Play Store. You can track scores and live odds. You can stay up to speed on all the latest content from your favorite hosts. You can watch or listen live anytime. Watch Sports Grid on the app. It's outstanding. Listen to Sports Grid Radio on the app live, maybe even. Carver and Lisi, which airs weeknights at 8 p.m. East. You can listen to that. You could follow Joe on the app, get all the clips from him. I know it's not the peak football season right now. When it's football season, Joe's everywhere on the app. Maybe it's not as much now, but the previews are coming. Uh, Joe's going to be lining up. Uh, who's he got to win the Mountain West any day now? Uh, and that's going to be available right there on the Sports Grid app for you. It is smarter to be on Sports Grid. Go to sportsgrid.com backslash watch to find all the platforms that you can find us on i'm right about that joe i mean you're 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 in the in the weeds now this is it like you've got between now and late july to start putting the playbook together you gotta get everything done all these conferences you got new conference new teams in these conferences in college football a lot of different variables being thrown at you west coast teams in the big 10 big 12 basically spans the entire globe you got a lot of work to do, Joe. You better get started. You pr you promised me football in the final hour. I heard you say we're going to get tons of baseball on deck. I don't know what's going on. You promised well, me tons of football. Well, wait a second here. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Time out. That's baseball. not very fair. You know no, that I have just we got we got we got 15 baseball games tonight. We got we got to go through those. And then I've got football for you. That's there's nothing wrong what, with that. A 6 minute segment you got? You got a six-minute no. segment of Aaron Rodgers. No, Big I got Bad a couple. Aaron. I got a couple. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna I'm gonna load you up because Aaron Rodgers talked uh, right as we were coming on air. So I'm gonna save all the Aaron Rodgers clips for you for tomorrow. 
uh, on C2C. Make sure we load you up with all of that. Let me finish uh, the hockey with this, Joe. This is what the odds are to win the cup with only four teams left uh, in the running, of course. And believe it or not, Joe, at the top, you have uh, the Dallas Stars. Dallas and Florida are the two favorites there, both at plus 225, Edmonton plus 280, and the Rangers, Joe, the fourth choice at plus 320. Pretty even, though, as you look across those four. Yeah, I mean, I like Dallas, Carver. I think they're the most complete team. Now, I saw a dip, if I'm not mistaken, last night to play, like, plus 190. Uh, they were plus 290, mm. like, a, like, three days ago, four days ago. I, I actually had them, but I think Connor McDavid killed that for me. So, uh, you know, it should, just shows you what happens. You get a good number, well, you get the CLV, and all of a sudden a gutless player like McDavid, you know. I mean, he's great, but he's gutless because he didn't score us any goals. So, as far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me. We're rooting Dallas, so we won't be betting him to score any goals in this next series, Joe. Watch oh, this no first McDavid game. It'll be like 5-5. Five, five. He'll have like three goals. Guaranteed. Uh Another way to bet some of these teams, Joe, if you'd like, uh, is who you think could win the con Smythe if they win the Cup. Ottinger's plus 450 for Dallas. Shesterkin, 5-1. to one. McDavid, plus 550. Barkov, 750. Dreisaitl, Kachuk, Heskinen, Wyatt Johnston. Uh, I, you know, Joe, I always love these because, uh, especially if there's a team. Uh, look, you look at those uh, boards right there. Like I said, plus 225 to plus 320. Very tight. There's some guys here, Joe, that can absolutely win the con Smythe with their play, and therefore that you know Florida wins, Joe, uh, and Kachuk has a huge last couple series plus eight fifty for him, uh, very possible. Yeah, or well, the Rat Bobrovsky at uh, eight. What is he? 18, eighteen to one. one. I mean, come eighteen on. to one. Maybe he steps now, up. That would Maybe be... he has forty-five, fifty saves in one game, like Sisterki. That would be. I mean, that would be peak gutlessness from you if you bet Bobrovsky to win the con Smythe after the way you've been dragging him around the last couple of weeks. That would I be like peak Johnston from you. From Dallas. Johnston. The yeah. Kid. 12 to 1. 12 That's to 1. Not a bad, not a bad one either, Joe. What do you not think bad Rupe at all. Hints is? It's probably 150 to 1 if he plays. Uh, they have him at 80 to 1 right now, uh, Rupe. They have Rupe on the board still. We'll see if he, it sounds like he's going to be healthy enough to get back in there. Uh, for game number one coming up on Thursday night. All right, Joe, let me get you to that baseball since I know you want to get to the football uh, as fast as possible. A few things from last night. First of all, we were on doing the radio show for a bunch of these games. One in particular was the Yankees, who we thought up 4-1 going into the ninth were going to uh, whistle away with another victory in the Bronx. Unfortunately for them, the Seattle Mariners said not so fast. You had an error in the inning. You had a couple bad, uh, bad, bad pitches by Clay Holmes. And suddenly, the Seattle Mariners go ahead in this game, Joe. 5-4, they take the lead, and they win it. Root Sports Northwest. There you go, base hit! Mariners have the lead. It's 5-4, Seattle! Ty France going the other way. Ty France, as we say, doing Ty France things. That's a hay now. Dave Sims uh, there on Root Sports for us. Uh, Joe, I guess all I could, you could say is uh, you can't win every night uh, if you're the Yankees, right? Can't no, win every you night. Can't, you can't, but the way they lost, Carver, I, I told you last night, I'm going to say it now, I'm going to disappoint a lot of Yankee fans. This is the start of a downtrend for the New York Yankees. The way they lost it last night, Watch out. Here comes a slide. 8 of 10, 10 of 12, 14 of 18. Him, him, him. They might not get back for a few games. I'm telling Sal, Sal. <laughs> Joe, you know I haven't been buying in. Uh, I'm waiting for October. Uh, this stuff is, uh, this stuff's not for me. Uh, I saw him go 70 and 32 years ago. Uh, Cleveland beat the Mets 3-1, so the Guardians stay hot. Marlins, Joe. They haven't had a lot of bright spots this year, but they got one last night in the 10th inning. The walk-off win against the Brewers from Josh Bell on Valley Sports Florida. White delivers. Ground ball. Base hit right field. They've done it again. It's a Marlins walk-off win. Wow. 
Wow, the excitement there, Joe. Look, they haven't had many wins this year to get excited about. So you got to go, got to go full throttle uh, when you finally get one across the board. Uh, Nationals beat the Twins 12-3. The Twins have now lost seven in a row. They had a players-only meeting, uh, Joe, last night. Do you? What are you, your thoughts on the players-only meeting after the seven-game losing streak? You like that, Joe? No, that means that they're, they're trying to kickstart the team somehow, some way. And they're searching for answers. So sell them too. I mean, the way that they had LA on the ropes, they had bases loaded. I think I think they were up what five one six one, and all of a sudden we blinked. It was six four, then nine six. Then you oh, got you're the on the Astros now. Yes, the Astros yeah. did do that. Uh, in fact, here let's play the uh, if we got the Logan O'Hoppy uh, three run homer. I loved every second of this. Bally Sports West. Otherwise, let Valdez think about what's going on. There's a fly ball out toward left field. What a comeback for the Angels. It's a three-run homer for Ohapi, the second of the inning. And the Halos are on top of Houston. That's yeah, the that, game you that, were talking about, I thought about, that, Joe, yeah, the that's the, that was dialed into that game. From the, game. From Actually, the Angels. I, I, that, that, uh, that, that, was, that was the game you killed it, man. And I thought they were going to get smashed. <laughs> well, uh, the other game you were dialed into, Joe, was the Rays and the Red Sox. Red Sox did win that game uh, five to nothing. Uh, the significance there, Rafael Devers, Joe, home run in his sixth straight game mm. for the Red Sox. Uh, will we go to him again tonight in tater time, Joe? Uh, we will find out in a few minutes here on Coast to Coast. We're back on a Tuesday. Carl Ryan, Joseph Scott, Joe. Whether it's a charge or a block or a, a you know a, a deflection that was wrong or a foul that should have called that wasn't called or vice versa, give me a 48 minute report and people that will understand that there's so many mistakes that the referees make over the course of the game that referees, ready folks, just don't decide the outcome. Betting above the rim only on Sports Grid. Fragile are these guys? It's amazing. They're supposed to be the greatest athletes in the world, and yet they can't walk and chew gum at the same time without getting hurt, for goodness sakes. That trout injury really is a bummer, too, because people thought he was going to have a big a big year. And I, I look, I don't feel bad for the Angels. I, I, I don't like Mike Trout in Anaheim. I thought he should have left when his contract was up. In Game Live, prime time, only on Sports Grid. With the onset of NIL and the transfer portal, it is allowing players to develop further in college and guys that would maybe be stuck on the bench at a power program and not have as much shine are having the ability to find themselves in the spotlight. Wayne Kiffin came out and said we need to get bigger and more physical in terms of the offense and defense alliance, and that's why he went out and recruited that talent. Inside the transfer portal, only on SportsGrid. And now you have to qualify and these majors you, you just you got to go do it man like and it just comes off really petty to sit up there and be like i'm not you know what you signed up for so i, I don't like the pettiness and um i i 100 percent think taylor gooch should be in the major championships mm -hmm. so in the same note of saying this but also it's like hey this is the world in which we live in right now and, and, you, and you don't deserve anything only on sports grid We are back from coast to coast here on a Tuesday. Carver Hines, Joe Lucy in for Scotty on Sports Grid, Sports Grid Radio. Great to have you with us. All right, Joe, last game that I want to give you from last night uh, is a game you were uh, very interested in, of course. The Dodgers and the Diamondbacks late night. You needed to get over the eight and a half. That was a win for you. 6-4 was the final. We talked on the radio show about going after Dodger homers last night. I got mine. 
with Will Smith. Uh, he came through for me with a solo home run, and you came through for yours with Freddie Freeman, big sombrero style, baby. Grand salami for Freeman on Spectrum Sportsnet LA. Loads the bases ahead of Freddie Freeman. High drive, deep center field. Freddie Freeman, grand slam out of the saddles and in front five to one. Uh, you got what, Joe? Four RBIs, a hit, two hits. over eight and two a half, hits. two hits, four RBIs, over the eight and a half, all tied to Billy Horschel to finish top ten at the at the Charles Schwab this weekend. <laughs> I'm ready to take the cash out right now. I'm not going to lie to you. No, like that. I want like, you need this, this sweat, Joe. This, you made the best. Dog. Come on. You made the best. This thing. You got to have the dog. sweat, Joe. This Billy is what it's o. all about. This is, this is content, Joe. The well, top I think, you know the how it, I'm con- even going to get in on Billy Ho now. I'm in uh, uh, for him this, this guy, weekend. Come I on. have to join I'm you. I'm telling you right now, first round leader, I'm cashing out. First round top 10, I'm hitting the Listen, cash out. If button. he's if he's uh, first round, if he's winning after the first round, see what they're giving you. I wouldn't do it, but that's you uh, if you really want I to. I got but- no confidence in this guy. I lost more money on Billy Ho throwing darts at a board than than this. Uh, I mean, what they're giving me without even him teeing off is still worth it. Uh, think of it that yeah, way. That's uh, how this bad is, he This is. is too good. You can't You can't take this away from us. You, we have to have this Billy Horschel bet uh, going throughout the entire weekend uh, for us. Uh, the Dodgers, by the way, Joe, I, we got a lot of baseball left. Uh, you looking to go to the window with the Dodgers uh, under 3-1 to one, uh, right now? We haven't even hit Memorial no. Day yet. And the Dodgers are uh, heavy, heavy favorites here. I think it's plus 260 or 270 uh, when they get it up there for you. Uh, but they are big fair. The Yankees are moving down. They're under 6-1 to one now, too. No, I mean, big picture, I think the Dodgers will obviously be there. But I'm not I'm not banking on them at plus 290. That's no value, in my opinion. 290 is no, not value, Carver. I mean, I would take a shot with somebody like Texas at plus 950. I mean, or ex- excuse me, Texas at 18 to 1, Houston at plus 950. I mean, you know, take some deep shots. At least Texas is the champs. You're getting 18 to 1. Look, you, you, when you talk about taking deep shots, remember this. Uh, last year you had Texas and Arizona in the World Series. Uh, where, and if you go back and look at what Texas and Arizona's numbers were at Memorial Day last year, Joe. They were deep shots uh, at that point. So I'm not saying that's going to happen every year. Clearly, you know, you're going to have years where the Dodgers and the Houstons and the Yankees, et cetera, get to the end. But uh, at least one side could absolutely uh, be, be a deep shot in baseball because we've seen it time and time again. All right, Joe, let's get to tonight. We have a very big card in baseball, and we will start in Cleveland where the Mets and the Guardians get together again. Now, this was supposed to be Carrasco tonight, Joe. And I based even a tater pick that I had on Carrasco playing. He's not. Xavier Curry's going to start for the Guardians now. Adrian Hauser goes for the Mets. Guardians are minus 125, plus 105 for the Mets. And a nine and a half tonight in Cleveland, Joe. Up, 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 and away. No, I'm going to go under. Cleveland and the under. I, I don't think that game has any shot to get through the nine and a half tonight. I'd be stunned if that game gets through the nine and a half. Stunned. You're saying it's got no shot of going over nine no and a half. Shot. No shot. I'm Tied on it, then. I'm on it. Uh, tater time and all uh, tonight in Cleveland. Let's go and get it. Right. The Brewers are in Miami again against the Marlins. It'll be Robert Gasser and Trevor Rogers tonight. The Brewers are minus 135 on the road, plus a buck 15 for the Fish. A flat eight total here, Joe. I like the Brewers tonight. They're not going to lose two nights in a row to the Marlins. I uh, lean to the Brewers, but I like the over here. Eight, I think both teams can can break out in a big way. Let's go up, 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 and away. Nine, ten. Nine or ten. Okay, go up, 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 and away in Miami. The Padres are in Cincinnati against the Reds. Joe Musgrove back off of the IL for San Diego tonight. Andrew Abbott goes for Cincinnati, minus 120 for the Padres, even money for Cincy. Another nine, Joe, a flat nine, and this one I like over, too. Do you? I like this game under, too. I feel like the Padres and 
And uh, since I he see always played to lead tonight. to the under. No, I like the under. Uh, I you're open to open tonight. Yeah, I see what you're doing. I see what you're I, up to, Joe. You are going after? Nah, me. those games don't right. don't intrigue me. I'll give you me. the ones that I like. Yeah. Oh, I know where you're going. Uh, Giants and the Pirates in Pittsburgh tonight. Logan Webb against Martin Perez. Minus 135 for San Francisco and an eight and a half here. Now, this one, Joe, you can make me scratch my head because you got an eight and a half with Logan Webb on the mound. Yeah, but I think the Giants bashed them tonight. I like the I like Logan Webb, and I, I think we go over the eight and a half. I think San Fran even lay the one and a half with the Giants tonight. Uh, the Rangers are in Philadelphia against the Phillies. John Gray against Ranger Danger Suarez. How about Suarez this year, Joe? 8-0 with a 1.37. Been the best pitcher in the National League as far as I'm concerned. Him and Imanaga so far. Minus 175 for the Phillies, plus 145 for the Rangers, and a flat 8. Uh, Phillies and the under, Carver. I, I like the, the – I would even lay the run and a half with the Phillies, but I think that game is a dead under as well. Doesn't appeal to uh, we'll, we'll sneak one more in here, Joe. The Twins, who we said uh, lost seven in a row and had their players-only meeting, are in Washington again. Jersey Joe Ryan against Patrick Corbin. Right now, uh, the Twins minus 185, plus a buck 50 for the Nats, and an eight and a half here. Minus a run and a half for the Twins, Joe. They get off the deck. I'm not touching the side. I think this game sails through the total. It was a big over last night. I think we get it again tonight. All right, Joe, we'll finish the rest of them when we come back. For El Coast to Coast on a Tuesday, Carver High and Joe for Scotty. We're back on the grid right after this. you have to qualify and these majors you, you just you got to go do it man like and it just comes off really petty to sit up there and be like i'm not you know what you signed up for so i, I don't like the pettiness and um i i 100 percent think taylor gooch should be in the major championships mm -hmm. so in the same note i'm saying this but also it's like hey this is the world in which we live in right now and, and, you, and you don't deserve anything only on sports grid devastating loss uh, to Georgia Tech, where they made uh, significant coaching errors. But uh, Miami, with all of these changes, obviously looking to churn over this roster and upgrade the talent level. Don't sleep on Rick Patino. Listen, at the end of the day, the portal is the portal, Mike. Don't matter where you came from, it's where you're going and how much money can you get. Inside the transfer portal, only on Sports Grid. When it comes to betting on sports, injuries matter, and Sports Injury Central has you covered all year long with expert injury analysis and injury-based picks for the NFL, NBA, and MLB. Our former pro sports doctors have unmatched experience to analyze every injury so you know the impact of the player, team, and their upcoming matchup. Whether it's articles, podcasts, player insights, or our patented injury scores, Sports Injury Central will help you keep up with your fantasy team and make more informed wagers. So make sure you follow Sports Injury Central and gain an edge at at sixscore.com. Your gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. And we are back for El Coast to Coast here on a Tuesday. Carver High and Joe Lisi in for Scotty on Sports Grid and Sports Grid Radio. Great to have you with us. All right, Joe. Now, this is the game I know uh, you do have your eye on. The Red Sox are at the trop again tonight against the Rays. It'll be Cooper Criswell and Zach Littell as the starting pitchers. The Red Sox, Joe, plus a buck 20, 
minus 140 for the Rays, and an eight and a half, minus 105 to the over. Yeah, give me 10 and a half, give me 11, give me him, him, him. I think we sail through the total, and I think the Rays win it. They got shut out last night. I don't know what they were thinking, but I think they break out in a big way. Might even take them over their team total tonight. Wow, team total uh, for the Rays in a big way. Okay, Joe, how about that? Uh, Next, the Mariners are back in the Bronx. Of course, they had the big ninth inning comeback last night. They'll have Brian Wu against Clark Schmidt. Tonight, Yankees minus 165, plus a buck 40 for the M's, and a flat eight the total here, Uh, Joe. I like the under tonight. Under the eight with Clark Schmidt, who's pitched pretty well for the Yankees, and Wu has just come back off the I.L., uh, and was decent in his first start back. You could get me in on that, but I'm taking the Mariners, like I said. I think everybody's going to double down on the Yankees because they lost last night. I think it's going to be the start of maybe a little downtrend. Give me the Mariners plus the 135. The White Sox are in Toronto. Of course, they played that uh, Victoria Day afternoon game yesterday. Uh, Garrett, don't call me Davy Crockett for the White Sox tonight. Look who it is, Joe. Kikuchi for the Blue Jays. Minus 185 for Toronto, plus a buck 50 for the White Sox at a flat seven total. Yeah, they smashed through this total. What was it, 9 3? I think they smashed through the total again. Big bad Vlad. Big bad Vlad, and Toronto gets it done. I don't want to lay the minus 185 with Kikuchi. Give me, give me Toronto minus the run and a half, and I think we sail through the total. The Braves are in Chicago tonight, Joe, against the Cubs. Charlie the Fisherman Morton against Javier Assad. Uh, minus 130 for the Braves, plus 110 for the Cubbies. And, Joe, a flat 11. And why is the total so high, especially since Assad and Morton, Joe, have pitched very well this year? Well, I just went and got the latest update for it. We have 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. Blowing out, Joe, uh, to left field tonight. It is a windy night in Chicago. And what does that usually mean, Joe? Even for good pitchers like Morton and Assad, up, up, up and away. But that's a heavy number, Joe, with an 11. Yeah, I'm going dead under, Carver, under the 11. And I'm going to take the cup. Uh, you know, you're no shot you're gonna, You really there's are. There's no shot you're, you're going to get me over you're the gutless. 11 in Wrigley tonight. No way. You're gutless. I don't care if they, uh, I don't care if they have a fan out there and blowing the balls. All over over the ivy. I, I'm telling you, I'm taking the under. There's no shot you could get me in 11 on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going tater time in that game tonight. Maybe they don't get over 11, but I want some homers uh, between the Braves and the Cubbies. The Tigers are in Kansas City again against the Royals. Royals, 30 wins, Joe. The fifth team to get there last night. They're 30 and 19. What a start in Kansas City. Alec Marsh against Casey Mize. The pitching matchup tonight, where uh, we have the Royals minus a buck fifteen, minus one hundred five for Detroit. Another big number, Joe. A flat nine in Kansas City for these two. Yeah, let's go over. But I, I like Detroit to smash them tonight. Enough of the Royals. They they come back down to earth. Tigers, I think, are the better team. They get the road win over Kansas City today. The Cardinals got a win at home over the Orioles last night, Joe. Tonight they'll have Lance Lynn. Going against Kyle Bradish. Right now, uh, the Orioles road favorites, Joe, for you, minus a buck fifty-five, plus a buck thirty for the Redbirds and Lynn. And another flat nine. This one's an over, Joe, with Lynn on yeah. the mound. We're going after Can we Lynn. get Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt double, Goldschmidt Homer. Three RBIs for Goldschmidt. Let's take the cards, the over uh... and Goldschmidt. Cards All right. the over uh, and Goldschmidt. Uh, I'll play a Goldschmidt homer free, but we need some Oriole guys to go after Lynn uh, for it also, Joe. Uh, one more, and we'll, then we'll finally finish the rest. Uh, we have the Angels and the Astros again in Houston. Griffin Canning and Christian Javier, minus two bills for the Astros, and a flat nine again. I love all these flat nines, Joe, tonight. Up, 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 and away. We got it last night. What do we have, 15, 16? Let's get it again. I got two other late night games, Joe, uh, that we'll get to when we come back, including the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks again. Then we will get to the football. Pharrell Coast to Coast on a Tuesday. Carver High and Joe Lisi in for Scotty. We're back on the grid right after this. game 
whether it's a charge or a block or a, a you know a, a deflection that was wrong or a foul that should be called that wasn't called or vice versa give me a 48 minute report and people that will understand that there's so many mistakes that the referees make over the course of the game that referees ready folks don't decide the outcome betting above the rim only on sports grid how fragile are these guys it's amazing they're supposed to be the greatest athletes in the world and yet they can't walk and chew gum at the same time without getting hurt for goodness sakes that trout injury really is a bummer too because people thought he was gonna have a big a big year and i i look i don't feel bad for the angels i i i don't like mike trout in anaheim i thought he should have left when his contract was up in game live prime time only on sports grid with the onset of nil and the transfer portal it is allowing players to develop further in college and guys that would maybe be stuck on the bench at a power program and not have as much shine are having the ability to find themselves in the spotlight. Wayne Kiffin came out and said we need to get bigger and more physical in terms of the offense and defense lines, and that's why he went out and recruited that talent. Inside the transfer portal, only on Sports Grid. And now you have to qualify in these majors. You, you just you got to go do it, man. Like, and it just comes off really petty to sit up there and be like, "I'm not." You know what you signed up for, so I, I don't like the pettiness. And um, I, I, I 100% think Taylor Gooch should be in the major championships. Mm -hmm. So, in the same note, I'm saying this, but also it's like, hey, this is the world in which we live in right now, and and you, and you don't deserve anything. Only on Sports Grid. We're back for El Coast to Coast on a Tuesday. Carver High, Joe Lisa, Gibbs, and Scotty. All right, Joe. Uh, two late night games on the left coast for us to finish off the baseball slate. The Rockies are in Oakland against the A's tonight. Uh, Aaron Brooks and our pal Cal Quantrill on the hill. Minus 130 for Oakland, plus a buck 10 for the Rockies. And uh, our lowest total of the night, Joe, seven and a half between the Rockies and the A's at the dump. Yeah, right. <laughs> Rockies, <laughs> Rockies in the under. I'm not touching this over. Uh, A's always let me down, but I think the Rockies get it down on the road in the ashtray. But it's a dead under, in my opinion. No play. Uh, I have a plenty of other games, Joe, tonight that I like uh, with the runs coming across that I don't need to be involved with Colorado and Oakland. And finally, Arizona is in L.A. still at Chavez Ravine against the Dodgers in Los Angeles. Uh, Stone against Fott tonight. Minus 160 Dodgers, plus 135 for the Snakes. And an eight and a half here, Joe. You got over it last night. You going back to the well? Yes. I, and I think now that the bats are starting to come together for L.A., we go Freeman again. Let, you know he does it in bunches, so let's continue to back Freeman. Potentially home run, two ribbies. Maybe maybe he has a, a, a whale of a night. Everybody look at our little timing and bets. Maybe Freeman breaks out. He's only got five homers on the year, Carver. Uh, he's only got that on the year. Uh, there is someone I do like for the tater time for the Dodgers yeah, tonight, Joe. We won't get to that. Not. I like yeah, a couple yeah, in that yeah. game. You got to remember, the, you know, you say shocker, Joe, but what you don't understand is, is that sometimes the tater picks are done by price. And when you have a guy like Betts at plus 500 tonight against Fott, that's a good number, Joe. Whether you think that it is chalk or whatever, that's a good number. Because most of the chalk guys are what, Joe? 320, 330, 335. You're getting bets at 5 to 1 and Walker in the same game against Stone at 6 to 1. The other ones. Now, JD Martinez, Joe, at 320, that was early this morning when Carrasco was starting because he's got great numbers and a bunch of homers off of Carrasco. Carrasco's not starting anymore for Cleveland. Martinez is still in the lineup. He's still hitting cleanup. Uh, I might still go to him. We will see about that one. Bryce Harper. Plus 250, he beats up on John Gray. We'll go there. Solaire's been quiet for San Francisco, but he beats up the soft toss and lefty and Martin Perez. We said balls are going to fly out in Chicago, Joe. How about Ian Happ tonight at 5-1? to one? All the other numbers have been beaten down. 
into the two and three hundreds. Let's take Hap at a big number. And I gave you the double dip in the late night LA game. Walker and Betts at six to one and five to one. A little tater time, Joe, for you on a Tuesday night in Major League Baseball. All right, Joe, we made it. OTAs this week, all 32 NFL teams are at their facilities. Uh, You have the vets with the rookies. You have all the head coaches. We've got quarterbacks. We do have, well, not everyone's there, Joe. I guess I'll start there. Not everyone is in the building. Justin Jefferson is not uh, with the Vikings. Obviously, T. Higgins is not with the Bengals. You know, I, I know people get all, people get all bent out of shape about this stuff uh in may at otas this happens every year joe uh this is not this is not that i personally don't think that big of a deal especially and you want to say minnesota jefferson should be working with some new quarterbacks maybe uh but like burrow with higgins if higgins shows up in august i think they're going to be all right joe as long as he shows up in august and you know justin jefferson if he does move on, wouldn't mind being in a Bengals uniform with his former teammates, uh, Jamar Chase and Joey this. Silk. You uh, love I'm pushing pushing this. It. I'm push- I am pushing it. I said it, not you, so don't worry about it. All right? Good luck and Godspeed. Okay? Don't worry about <laughs> it. We'll get it done. <laughs> so, uh, no Jefferson and no Higgins so far. Uh, the Jets are there, and guess who's there for the Jets, Joe? Yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Look at this guy. After a me- missing all of last season, aside from the first four plays of the year, Rodgers is looking good. Now, he spoke today as well, Joe. It was a little later in the afternoon. I'm going to give you all that fun tomorrow uh, on Coast to Coast with him. Today, I will give you Robert Salah, who somehow yeah. is still the head coach uh, of the New York Jets on what he has seen so far from Aaron Rodgers this week at OTAs. But for him to to push the envelope, continue his rehab, he has no restrictions. But and he looks good, man. Uh, the arm talent obviously is still there, but uh, it's really just acc- reacclimating to everything. And um, you know, we're trying a bunch of new stuff too. And it's just again, just trying to evolve within the offense. Well, how is he doing in terms? Of, is he taking snaps under center? Is he doing He's doing everything. Work related to handoffs and stuff that maybe he wasn't doing toward the end of last year. He's doing everything. How many times does he have to say it, Joe? Like, he's like, he's doing everything. Well, does that mean he's taking snaps? On his own? He's doing everything. Like he just told you. He's doing everything. How much confidence do you have with that guy again, Joe, uh, as the head coach of the Jets? Do you have any? Oh, Salah? So. Yeah. Uh, he's a shell so, of a head coach. Sell it. He'd be better served being in, uh, in the Jersey Shore, uh, you know, making videos for MTV than, uh, than being a head coach. He's terrible. He absolutely sucks. His in-game adjustments from an offensive perspective and just X's and O's aren't there. His personality is uh, like a piece of cardboard. Uh, He's not a New York guy. And that's why, from a media perspective, they own him. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to handle the New York media. If he had a personality, maybe his team would step up. And I'm talking to you, Jet fans. Forget the nine and a half. You got no shot. No shot to do it this year. I'll leave my words if I'm wrong. Love uh, the under nine and a half, Joe, which we're going to get to in a moment uh, with the win totals uh, for the New York Jets. Uh, The uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, they need a contract extension for Trevor Lawrence, Joe. Of course, plenty of quarterbacks around the league have been getting their fat money. Uh, It is expected that Trevor Lawrence is the next one. We've seen some good moments, Joe. Um, I don't know about... Now, look, all these guys get paid, so it's hard to sit here and and say, oh, I wouldn't pay the guy, but he's going to get paid. I haven't been overly impressed so far uh, throughout his three years, first three years in the league, but we shall see. Here is Doug Peterson. One thing that he doesn't want, Joe, is he does not want this thing to linger on for a long time because what does that become, uh, Joe? Uh, I think it's part of the no, business, like but, that. I mean, I think, the, you know, obviously the sooner you get it done, right, it's, it's behind everybody, and now we focus on football, and, and so that's not lingering and that's not out there. Um you know, I, I I know Trent and his agent. <clears throat> excuse me. They've they've continued to talk and we'll talk and, and they're working hard and tirelessly and and um, you know I just gotta gotta coach Trevor and coach football and hopefully right. it gets done. You didn't we'll. do that now, last year, Doug. It, it doesn't it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like a good number because but it's the going rate. I I guess are you prepared to give Trevor Lawrence forty five fifty. $52 million a year, Joe, uh, to be the quarterback in Jacksonville. I mean, 
Everyone else is getting that, so I guess you got to give it to him too, right? Yeah, Daniel Jones got forty million. They have his money playoff wins, right? I mean, uh, uh, Trevor Lawrence beat up on Justin Herbert. He's got one there under his belt, and Danny Dimes got the victory a couple of years ago over Minnesota. So I mean, yeah. look at it for what it is. He's younger. This year was disappointing, Joe. Disappointing. Uh, he was a human turnover machine. How many interceptions yeah. against Cleveland? Three? How many interceptions down the stretch where he didn't know where he wanted to go with the football? But, you know, part yep. of that, a Tampa Bay, too, the two games, I think he combined for six interceptions. But that's on Doug Peterson, too, in, in terms of the development, because the running game at the end of the regular season was non-existent. So what are you doing, Doug? You're running Travis Etienne for half the season. He gets you the yards, and then when – Push comes to shove after you're eight and three. You can't run the football consistently. Let's call it for what it is. Peterson needs to take some heat too. I saw Peterson also say he's going to get uh, the tank more involved, Joe. Uh, tank Bigs. Yeah, I know. Make he's sure going to he get the tanked. tank. Tank Bigs. All right. You got to actually call a running play, Doug. Okay. Well, I yeah. mean, give me a break. <laughs> Joe getting all over him wants to, wants to see Tank. You, you're mad because you had a bunch of ETN stuff this year that didn't get across the line because Joe, because Doug wouldn't put him, give him the rock uh, inside the five yard line. Instead, he's yeah. throwing fade passes yeah, to Zay absolutely. Jones in the corner. Right. Yeah. Uh, for, for El Coast to Coast here on a Tuesday, we'll come back. Barbara Ryan, Joe for Scotty right after this. Whether it's a charge or a block or a, a you know a, a deflection that was wrong or a foul that should have been called that what wasn't called or vice versa, give me a 48 minute report and people that will understand that there's so many mistakes that the referees make over the course of the game that referees, ready folks, just don't decide the outcome. Betting above the rim only on Sports Grid. are these guys it's amazing they're supposed to be the greatest athletes in the world and yet they can't walk and chew gum at the same time without getting hurt for goodness sakes that trout injury really is a bummer too because people thought he was gonna have a big a big year and i i look i don't feel bad for the angels i i i don't like mike trout in anaheim i thought he should have left when his contract was up in game live prime time only on sports grid with the onset of NIL and the transfer portal, it is allowing players to develop further in college and guys that would maybe be stuck on the bench at a power program and not have as much shine are having the ability to find themselves in the spotlight. Wayne Kiffin came out and said you need to get bigger and more physical in terms of the offense and defense alliance, and that's why he went out and recruited that talent. Inside the transfer portal, only on Sports Grid. And now you have to qualify and these majors you, you just you got to go do it man like and it just comes off really petty to sit up there and be like i'm not you know what you signed up for so i, I don't like the pettiness and um i i 100 percent think taylor gooch should be in the major championships mm -hmm. so in the same note i'm saying this but also it's like hey this is the world in which we live in right now and, and you and you don't deserve anything only on sports grid Coast to coast on a Tuesday. Carver High and Joe Lisi in for Scotty on Sports Grid and Sports Grid Radio. Great to have everybody with us. Uh, of course, Joe, BetMGM uh, has you set up. First bet offer $1,500. What do we got to do? Download the BetMGM Sportsbook app on iOS or Android or visit BetMGM.com. Sign up and deposit at least $10 into your newly created BetMGM Sportsbook account. Place your first wager and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if the bet loses. If the bet does lose your bonus bets, will be available once your initial wager is settled. That is BetMGM's first bet offer, 
fifteen hundred dollars. All right, Joe. Uh, there's a reason why I went and uh, watched Dave Canales uh, yesterday. Of course, the new head coach of the Carolina Panthers. Now, I don't think you've made this known yet on on uh, Coast to Coast. Me and you have talked about it on the radio show quite a bit. Joe's, no doubt about it, lead pipe lock, uh, <laughs> crypto special for week one. Now, remember, last two years, Joe has hit this. Uh, two years ago, he told you for four months when the schedule came out, Seattle over Denver, that was the Russell Wilson return game, week number one. Last year, uh, Rams in Seattle, right, Joe? You had the Rams penciled in months in advance, ready to go. Joe, your stone cold lead pipe lock for week number one uh, this year when the schedule came out last week. What is it when you saw the numbers? Yeah, it's Dave Canales, first year coach, and Bryce Young catching. It opened at four and a half. Now the markets have bet it up to five. I just have no confidence in, in Derek Carr and more importantly, Dennis Allen, that I think is a gutless head coach. And I think Dave Canales, the way he worked wonders with Baker Mayfield, will elevate Bryce Young. And and you said it before on the radio, it's going to be a different scheme. There's no film out for the most part in terms of the personnel and how they're going to come out week number one. And you have to give the edge to Canales, even though he has no prior head coaching experience. I like that. That line is fishy to me at four and a half, five. And again, I'm not sold on New Orleans. I think Dennis Allen coach that team down and we know he's a defensive wizard but I think Canales is a little bit underrated let's not forget in the regular season Baker Mayfield and Jordan Love were the two oddest quarterbacks Baker Mayfield over the last eight games of the regular season averaged 289 passing yards per game and was one of the most prolific in the NFC I think Bryce Young bounces back with a huge second season uh, Joe, if I had 20 minutes, I would play you the entire clip of Canales talking minutes. about Bryce Young. If I had 20, th- he went on and on and on about the stuff me and you were talking about. I've wor- we're working with Bryce, the strides he's making, working with the footwork, working with where he want we want the ball to be, working with all this stuff. You would be pumped up. I suggest you go and watch the full uh, Dave Canales, uh, Bryce Young breakdown. From his press conference it. yesterday, but what? But what I do at least bring to you uh, is him being asked about the Panthers, who were the worst team in the NFL last year, not having any primetime games this year. Well, you sucked. I mean, it is what it is. Here's what Canales said. Speaking of the no primetime games, your reaction to the no primetime games? Yeah, you got to earn it. You got to earn primetime games. You know, those things don't just come along. You know, it's, it's um. Every year, you know, you don't start out that way and they don't just throw you on primetime games for no reason. You know, we, we have to build something, a, a version of football that we're proud of um, and be able to uh, accentuate the strengths and talents of our guys that we have. And then I think that the world will want to see that at some point. But we got a long way to go and we got to earn those type of ops. This this is one of Joe's new guys. Joe loves this guy already. I can see it. Joe's going to talk this guy up in a big way over the next couple of years. And then he's going to give you the whole... I said it first. I told you Canales with Carolina was going to be a success. Joe loves hearing stuff like that. you got to earn it. Yeah, you do have to earn it. And again, you know, he doesn't look like much, but he is an offensive wizard. And we know how bad of a head coach at least we thought Todd Bowles was. Well, with Canales, in terms of that, as offensive coordinator, they were one of the most prolific offenses. So, again, it's Canales' scheme, his ability to find mismatches, and his ability to elevate the quarterback we saw with Baker Mayfield. It started with Sean McVay in L.A., right? That was the transition of Baker Mayfield as a, as a mature quarterback. But Canales took him to the next level, made him a playoff contender. He certainly did, Joe. Uh, last one I have for you for today is uh, up to the Patriots, of course, Drake May. Uh, has only been there for a couple of weeks. Gerard Mayo uh, taking over for Bill Belichick. Uh, His thoughts early on seeing Drake May working with the New England Patriots. Yeah, I thought Drake did a great job, not only, you know, progressing on the field, but also off the field. You can already tell, like, he's going to put in that extra work. You know, I walk by the quarterback meeting room. He's just in there by himself watching film. And those are the things that you want to see and excited to see his growth going forward. Joe loves that. He's in there grinding it out. He's the only one in the room. He's watching the film. Nobody's in there with him. He's locking in. He's a professional now. Go ahead, Joe. Bash the kid. You did it for a few months. Bash the kid. He's working hard. 
he will be the worst quarterback out of this group. <laughs> I said it before, and I'll say it again. He has no shot to be the best out of this group. No shot. The talent around them, and secondly, he's inconsistent. He showed that in North Carolina, never won a marquee game, and against elite competition, didn't play his best. So you tell me what the New England Patriots organization saw in Drake May. Good luck. It could it has the potential to be Mac Jones 2.0, and at least Mac Jones had one of the best completion percentages in the history of FBS. Man, you're going to go right after him again. Don't give the kid no any credit. Shot. He's in there working hard. Uh, He's trying to learn Credit's the system. He's got to earn it. He will earn it, Joe. I'm sure that he will. Hey, look, he's on the Patriots. I hope he stinks. Uh, that would be the best case scenario, uh, really, for everybody, because they deserve about 25 years of bad football uh, after what they got for 20 years uh, up there in New England. Uh, Jamal Adams visiting the Ravens today, Joe. Why would anyone want him uh, with the way he looked in Seattle the last couple of years when he actually played? Man, I know somebody's going to give him a shot, Joe, but whew, Jamal Adams, he's finished. Finished. No, Joe. De definitely injury prone, couldn't stay on the field and never lived up to the hype, Carver. Uh, when we come back, Joe, to wrap things up, I have for you a new look for Joey Silk, or is it a new look uh, for Joey Silk? Uh, we'll have to figure that out when we come back. For Up Coast to Coast on a Tuesday, we're back after this. Whether it's a charge or a block or, a, a, you know, a, a deflection that was wrong or a foul that should have been called that wasn't called or vice versa. Give me a 48-minute report and people that will understand that there's so many mistakes that the referees make over the course of the game that referees, ready folks, just don't decide the outcome. Betting above the rim only on Sports Grid. are these guys it's amazing they're supposed to be the greatest athletes in the world and yet they can't walk and chew gum at the same time without getting hurt for goodness sakes that trout injury really is a bummer too because people thought he was gonna have a big a big year and i i look i don't feel bad for the angels i i i don't like mike trout in anaheim i thought he should have left when his contract was up in game live prime time only on sports grid with the onset of NIL and the transfer portal, it is allowing players to develop further in college and guys that would maybe be stuck on the bench at a power program and not have as much shine are having the ability to find themselves in the spotlight. Wayne Kiffin came out and said you need to get bigger and more physical in terms of the offense and defense alliance, and that's why he went out and recruited that talent. Inside the transfer portal, only on SportsGrid. And now you have to qualify and these majors you, you just you got to go do it man like and it just comes off really petty to sit up there and be like i'm not you know what you signed up for so i, I don't like the pettiness and um i i 100 percent think taylor gooch should be in the major championships mm -hmm. so in the same note i'm saying this but also it's like hey this is the world in which we live in right now and, and, you, and you don't deserve anything only on sports grid back from coast to coast here on a tuesday carver high and joe lisi in for scotty on the grid all right joe before we get out of here uh, a couple last things number one this photograph has been uh circling the internet uh at a rapid pace lately i i guess this is the new uh stock photo for joey silk joe burrow look at the locks on him joe i mean look at the hair it looks outstanding uh also looks a little bit like I've seen the best comparison. Uh, the kid that played Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars prequels, 
uh, no. there. Uh, that's, yes, with the Hayden Christensen uh, with that look right there. But, Joe, I feel like that photo is a little fugazi because I saw footage of him today at OTAs and his hair was not that long. So I don't know if he cut it this morning or when that photograph was taken, but I don't think, I think he's fooling everyone with that picture, Joe. I thought he looked like Izzy from uh, Steel Dragon back in Rockstar. I Gotta be know. a little longer. A little longer. No, he's a little wait. bit of longer hair. Joe, Izzy in Steel Dragon, his, his hair was down below his, his butt, Joe. I mean, he had long hair. That was how he was, the Joe Burrow look right there was shoulder length. Uh, is where that was. He was more like to let uh, the river like flow. A, let he had more like flow. Joey yeah. Silk had more of like an early '90s, mid '90s grunge band uh, type of hair length. Uh, is where yeah, bon, Jovi. bon Jovi maybe. Yeah, yeah Bon Jovi. Bon, yeah. bon Jovi maybe. But I thought bon Izzy Jovi. from Steel Dragon a little bit longer, Joe, for him. Uh, a few college things. Number one, I saw you on uh, the Transfer Portal show. I don't know if you guys hit on this. The Dabo Swinney uh, ignoring the transfer portal, Joe. He's too. Is he too good for it, or just nobody want to play for him at Clemson? <laughs> no, he wants to build it from the inside out, Carver. We'll see how that goes. Two years ago, it was nine and zero in the ACC. Last year, they lost four games. It was the first time since prior to 2014 that Clemson lost four games in conference. So think about that. Not only were they four and four in conference, they were three and three on the road. That's important because they had an over 820 winning percentage in regards to their road games from 2014 to 2022. So we'll see. I will mm. say this. I just will say this. From the value perspective, both Clemson, Florida State, Miami do not have a multitude of big games. They have maybe two on all their schedules. And Clemson is plus 205 to make the playoff and they open with Kirby Smart in Georgia. They're 13 and a half point dogs. It's not going to be easy, but if somehow, some way they win, that's not going to be plus 205 anymore. That's all I'm going to say. They have very good value heading into week number one from the playoff perspective. I'll give you the first uh, no shot of the college football season. They got no shot to beat Georgia the first game. How do you like that, Joe? They have no shot. To beat Georgia in that opening Say game. It again. Where is that game? Say it again. Where are they playing that in Atlanta? That is that another yeah. one in Georgia's backyard? Yeah, sure. Uh, why not? Georgia always, you know, Georgia always uh, masks this huge opening game by playing it in, in Atlanta they uh, in the Mercedes they Dome. Me. They played yeah, so in ten three a couple of years ago in Charlotte. Yeah, that game Don't was in Charlotte, start. right? That game was in Charlotte. That game uh, when they played yeah. Clemson a few years back. Joe, what did you think of this story? Because I asked Corsi about it earlier. Jane Rashada is suing Billy Napier and a big time Gator booster, claiming that they defrauded him out of millions after backing out of a promised $13 million NIL agreement. How about that? Yeah, this kid has barely stepped on the field, and it's unbelievable when you think about it, Karma. Unbelievable. This kid has five teams. He's played about three games Florida, Tennessee. A uh, Georgia now, Arizona State. This kid's like the hamburger with the hand out. Unbelievable. Uh, it really is unbelievable, Joe, uh, that he's able to do that. And listen, that's probably the tip of the iceberg, Joe. Other kids are going to start doing that as well. Uh, if they get, if they things turn around, they don't get their NIL money, etc. Uh, Joe, I'll see you tonight, Carver and Lisi, 8 p.m. East on the radio side. Celtics, Pacers. Game one of the Eastern Conference Final, and we have all of that MLB uh, and all those overs that we're going to go after tonight as well. One last time, Joe. Pacers outright tonight? Pacers yeah, like outright? Yeah, plus the 10 and a half and plus the 370. Okay. We're taking both in Halliburton for four threes and Nate Smith for three. All right, Joe. I will see you tonight uh, on the radio, and then tomorrow <laughs> we will be back, uh, Joe, here on Coast to Coast. Game Time Decisions is next. Great job by Mafia and the crew today. Of course, we had DeCourcy, we had Gabe, we had Coach, and we had Davis. Golf Wednesday tomorrow as well. The Charles Schwab will have you covered for tomorrow on Coast to Coast.